stop me if you've heard this one before. Most every story has a hero and most a villain. Our hero is not a hero, but doesn't want to be chilling. With the economy down and his luck down further, he can't find a job, but won't resort to murder. With the stock market fall and his wallet on empty, our poor fellow has nothing. Nothing but envy. An idea hits him like a Tyson right hook. I shall drown my sorrow, so where shall I look? He heads to the bar and orders a drink. He sits alone with his whiskey to think. I'm exasperating my cash while well, all I have left. I need to eat, I need to work, but nobody will hire me. They're all fucking jerks. Now I mention the villain, and the villain will be the goddamn economy, for it's pissing on me. A character we cannot see but cannot ignore as our hero sits four drinks from the floor. One shot down, may I have one more? Once this is gone, give it a pour. Desperate and sad, for th things are really bad, searching for clues that aren't half bad. I spy with my little eye a makeshift sign hanging like a vine. Ask the bartender how to win cash. Well, golly gee, that could solve my problems fast. Oh, bartender, may I have one more? And please explain the sign hanging by the door. The bartender pours another drink to the man. Listen, what do you think? There are three tasks, and three it shall be, for the first one isn't easy, if you ask me. You must one punch the bouncer at the end of the bar. You must strike him well. You must hit him hard. One punch, and one punch is all. He must land on his ass from a great fall. Bartender, I think my glass is broke. I'm going to need another to finish this joke. The bartender rebuttals. The second task is, in the back of the bar, a rabid Rottweiler is. Now a tooth of decay and a rotten canine hides behind the drooling lips of this vicious doggy of mine. You must rip out his tooth and put it on the bar, then two-thirds of the way through this task you are. Now a man drinks his drinks, a total of five. The bartender wonders if he'll come out alive. He's going to take out that dog or he's going to die. I don't care either way, it's amusement for my eyes. Now the third and final task, and the most disgusting of all, most people would rather shoot themselves with their backs against the wall. Upstairs on the door to the right, there you'll find a 90-year-old prostitute who's no longer ripe. This contest you're playing, the hag put up the cash, for she misses her work and is in need of some ass. You must make her feel good, and good she must feel. She should stand on her head, like a pig she should squeal. This is the beginning of the end. All systems fail. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to jail. The man looks at the sign and says, this money is mine. Heads towards the bouncer with victory in mind. Our hero struts to the bouncer and takes a big swing. Whammo! Knocks his head and his bell goes ding. He then returns to the bar for another glass, builds up some liquid courage, and heads to the back. He doesn't return promptly, but noises are heard. All this barking and growling and thumping berserk. People are looking around with looks of dismay. What the fuck is that sound that I'm hearing today? About 33 and a half minutes later, our hero stumbles out victoriously from the back. Up to the bar, he drags his tired body and asks. Okay, so now where's this 90-year-old prostitute with a loose tooth? Hey, y'all crazy bitch, but you fuck so good I'm on top of it.